Satnam, thank you so much for joining. Welcome to Creator Connections Readings. My name is Jean, and this is going to be a pick a card reading to see what it is that you can do, how you can rejuvenate, what it is that you can do to better your life experience, um, to get yourself like get like going with like a new oomph and a new vuma for life. You get what I'm trying to say? Um, you know, just how can, how can you rejuvenate yourself physically, emotionally, spiritually, in whatever way? Um, yeah, I feel like that's a that's a good that's a good vibe. Um, we have four piles to pick from. So for pile number one, we have this beautiful green stone. It's almost translucent. It's really beautiful. I just love the energy. It's in the shape of South America, which is one of my favorite continents. Um, <laughs> which is a quite an odd thing to say, I guess. Yeah, that's my favorite continent actually. <laughs> um, for pile number two. We have this cool little cactus quartz, yellow, orange, I guess, as well. Um, this fairy quartz slash cactus quartz is only um, found in South Africa, which I, which I find pretty cool as well. Um, then for pile number three, we have this cool statuette representing the like lower world middle world upper world from peru yeah and then for pile number four we have this beautiful like almost like it's like an oil lamp thingy i guess i mean i think you can put incense in here but um it almost looks like a genie lamp to me like yeah so pick your pile to see what you can do how you can rejuvenate or reinvigorate your life um, and your spirit, your everything, and I will see you at the pile. Okay. <laughs> Satnam, pile number one. For those of you who picked this lovely green stone, this is going to be your reading for how can you reinvigorate your life, how can you bring in more, like, oomph, more, like, you get the vibe, you know. You get the vibe, you get the vibe. For pile number one. I'm hearing like yeah, like 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 reinvigoration. Um, like this, 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 the stone, the o the, the object, <laughs> the object that you chose, um, is also giving me like very like um. I just heard Nefertiti. I don't know why, but like um, I'm 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 thinking more of to like Tefiti. I think from Moana, um, Tefiti. You know, like it's this like life giving like very freshish kind of um. A fresh lush energy okay so so I, I feel like yeah exactly look at the, even like at the bottom of the deck with integrity um like this this lush like fresh spring behind her you know um it doesn't seem too hot but it doesn't seem too cold it just seems nice and she's like chilling there okay so you are you are receiving this invigorating um energy i feel like um what can you do pal number one i don't necessarily actually feel like you have to do anything because once again, just with the integrity card already, I'm just seeing, um, like, it's kind of like you sitting pretty and just chilling in your own vibe already, okay? Um, it's, it's something that's going to be just brought to you. You're just going to receive it is what I'm trying to say. It's interesting. I actually saw this card um, as I was connecting with your energy now. Um, the, 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 what is this? Is this a four? No, this is a five of water. For some reason, I get confused. Um... But I wasn't sure why I connected with this. I, I feel like, I feel like, pile number one, what you can do to reinvigorate yourself is like, first of all, like I said, it's going to be something that's just um, brought to you, okay? It's just going to be brought to you. But I feel like as, as the, as this, this, this reinvigoration is going to be bestowed upon you with this, like, light, um, as this reinvigoration is going to be bestowed upon you with this light, it's actually going to make you feel I'm getting this energy of, um, this is actually like happy tears I'm getting right now. This is like getting like this, uh, you know, like, like, like really releasing a lot of like, oh, uh, like, like pent up things, especially within your heart space. Okay. And me just even making that noise, that action, that like expression is already making me feel lighter within my heart space as well. Okay. Um, I'm actually getting, I'm, I'm actually getting the, the, the message that pile number one, you're going to be getting an opportunity, not an opportunity, but you're going to be getting opportunities to also, um, 
okay, to also, um, like, I want to say go out more, or, 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 or just, like, enjoy your time more, you know, like, like, uh, people would usually say, like, celebrate, like, it's a celebration card, you know, but, like, you know, whatever celebration is to you, um, meeting people, just chilling, but, like, so even saying that, there's the, the, the four of wands again, but for some reason, um, the, the five of, the five of spades is showing itself as well, which is conflict, but, I don't know why I said for some reason, okay, you know what, this is the, this is the inner conflict card, and I feel like maybe, um, with the Ace of Hearts and the, the, the Four of Wands, I feel like there's some sort of new beginning that you're already in the process of, uh, pile number one, like some sort of reinvigoration that you've already been bestowed, maybe, or, um, once you are being bestowed by this uh, thing, it might even be a relationship, okay, which is going to be reinvig reinvigorating you, you, okay, whatever it is, I feel like you're going to have some sort of a, a mental conflict in, in regards to this, okay, um, you're gonna have some sort of like I'm 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 hearing mistrust. I'm hearing like I don't trust this. I don't trust this person. Maybe I don't trust um, this new energy, this new beginning, this new invigorating waters that's being bestowed upon me. Um, but like you can, okay, you can you can trust it. Like it's meant to. It's meant to bring you towards um, better. It's meant to bring you towards a a a fuller um, version of yourself. Is what I'm hearing, okay. So actually, pile number one, what can you actually do? You can't really do much, I feel. There isn't much for you to do, once again. I feel like you've been strong, you've been doing your thing, you've been vibing, um, you've been putting in your own work. I feel like maybe even, even during, even during the, even during the, um, the periods or the times or the energies of you being very, like, conflicted within yourself and very mistrusting. I'm even getting, like, alone type vibes with this. I'm even getting, like, like that loner kind of, like, <laughs> in the shadows maybe, like, like really not trusting people. Um, not, not, also not necessarily in the shadows, like, in a dark way. It's just maybe you're just, like, like... I'm getting like mysterious, like people maybe find you some a little bit mysterious, that's coming through, because because you don't trust people, maybe you don't open up to people, besides the point, okay, um, you don't really have to do much, like, like I've been saying, okay, um, just, just, just keep an eye out for, for your own mistrusting behavior, keep an eye out for your own, um, not, not unwillingness, but like, um, you know, sometimes it's okay to trust. Sometimes it's okay to really, really let go and let God kind of vibe. Sometimes it's okay to really just do that, right? Uh, we have the three of clubs. The king of hearts. Um, the nine of pentacles showing itself. The nine of pentacles really showing itself. Okay. <laughs> uh, okay. If, okay, so, so this is interesting because this is also giving me the, this alone kind of energy because the, the Nine of Pentacles is the, is the card of being single, it's the card of being, like, alone and stuff. And then also the Nine of Swords and the Nine of um, Clubs presented itself. Uh, pile number one, I feel like you're, you're way too much in your head. I feel like you're way too much in your head, maybe because you've been dealing with a lot of endings, because you've been dealing with a lot of, um, I'm even hearing betrayals for some of you, okay, but, like, what you can do to help you reinv reinvigorate yourself is, okay, Journey, you're gonna, there's gonna be some sort of movement, pile number one, I, I, I see the, the nine of fire again, and I'm actually resonating with this, with this pile, okay, um, pile number one, maybe, I feel like you need to keep moving, um, you need to keep, to, you need to keep to some sort of, um, self-discovery kind of, um, this could even be an inner journey, like an inward movement, but like, like, I got like a lot of like, um, physical movement as well, especially like with the, th the three of wands, the journey card and the three of wands with the, with the, um, nine of pentacles is giving me like a physical journey. It's almost like you need to keep moving. It's almost like you need to keep traveling. It's almost like you need to keep, um, I'm even hearing for some of you, it, it, it might be, it might be a, a, a sense of like needing to, needing to, to, to travel between like families or groups or like 
friend groups, you know, stuff like that. Um, like you're you're in this constant need of motion. How can you invigorate yourself? Move. Um, this isn't necessarily even like like just whatever that means to you. Move. Maybe just move your body. Maybe just move. Um, to a different location. Maybe move, just move to a different location. Move to um. Move the energy. You need to. You need to. You need to learn how to move. Interesting how this energy is coming through now. Um, I feel like this movement of energy once again is is something that's just going to be bestowed on you, though. Okay, it's something that's just going to be gifted to you. Um, the the energy of this reading felt uh, started all very like heavy for me, very um, like almost distracted in a way. But I know that was my own energy, right? Um, but that's why I'm also kind of, like, like, um, resonating with pile number one. It's because, like, like, even though it's not a physical movement, it's just, like, you need to get the energy moving. And I'm doing that by, like, channeling. I'm doing that by doing the reading. You understand what I'm saying? So whatever the movement is for you, pile number one, this, um, whatever mo move means for you, just move. It doesn't necessarily mean house move, even. There's just... A meaning behind move for you as well okay okay um let me get one more card let me get one more card you need you you basically just need to get the energy moving you basically just need to get the energy moving like i'm i'm, I'm even feeling like a somewhat of like an urgency towards it because like why did i like um say that twice you know like i said it that twice in a in a we have the maiden card um, I feel like the, 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 the movement that is going to be, like, also just bestowed on you, like, you need to keep, you need to get it moving, like, you don't need, once again, you don't need to do anything, it's something that's going to happen naturally for you, I feel, okay, the, the more you progress through your own, like, densities and all these thoughts of worry, the more, like, you're going to release them, the more the energy is moving, etc, etc, um, it's meant to, 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 um, actually invigorate the, the soil almost is what I'm feeling, to have you sprout new seeds with the maiden card, um, um, to have you sprout new beginnings, newness, new, um, new abundance, basically, okay? Okay, pile number one, so I, I actually feel like that's, that's wonderful, like, if, if you are very much worried about the fact that you, that you get worried, if you, if you get anxious about the fact that you become anxious a lot, um, don't, don't worry about it too much, <laughs> um, because, like, truly, I see you being okay, there's a lot of, like, another celebration, okay, there's gonna be another, like, happy moment that's gonna make you show, once again, you know, God's got your back kind of vibe, truly. Uh, okay, partner one. So thank you so much. Uh, please do consider liking and subscribing, and I will see you again for another reading. Satnam, bye. Satnam, pile number two. For those of you, those, for those of you who picked this beautiful um, fairy cluster cactus quartz. Oh, I'm just feeling the energy all of a sudden. Um, I heard very, 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 very clearly. Do what you love. Do what you love, pile number two, um, because that's going to bring you a whole lot of abundance. It's going to bring you a whole lot of just, like, <sighs> yummy energy. Like, it's almost like, like, it's almost like honey energy, okay? Um, yummy, yummy, yummy. I'm feeling, like, invigorated, actually. It's almost like this, this, this really soothing, warming, um, I almost want to say, like, late afternoon kind of sun vibes. <laughs> you know, it's not, like, overly hot. It's, like, just lacquer. It's just nice, just nice. So for pile number two, pile number two, how can you invigorate? Maybe connect more with the sun, like, um, maybe some of you need to connect with the sun. If, like, you, if, like, me, you've been living in a space that's been a little bit rainy lately or something like that, I feel like, um, yeah, with the Queen of Fire as well, I feel like God is actually gonna, gonna, gonna bring in some sort of, I'm hearing, like, a week of sunshine. Um, so that's, that's a pretty big, <laughs> a big statement to make, like on the weather or whatever, but like, I feel like, like maybe, um, maybe God wants to gift that to you, like some sort of week of sunshine where everything's just going to be like nice and lucky, nice and warm. Um, well, that's what we're manifesting together as well, right? Beautiful. We have the, in, beautiful, uh, pile number two, how can you reinvigorate? I thought somebody called me, but it wasn't, um. Pile number two, how can re you bring rejuvenation, reinvigorate your life, your spiritual, whatever? Um, I'm actually getting the vibes that you should be manifesting. Um, you should be, like, connecting with what you love. Like, uh, we have the, the three of air and the ace of air. 
first of all, this was telling me that that what I was saying about you connecting with the with the with the solar energy, doing what you love, like everything that I mentioned. Like first of all, that was and the manifestation. Like yes, that's what that's what I got from this. Like a yes, manifestation. Okay. Then also with the, with the three of air, this is actually giving me like do what you love vibe. It's like do what you know best. Okay, but like. Unless the, the what you know best is something that you don't enjoy. Like I really feel like especially with the counselor here, what you what you what you're good at is something that you really enjoy. It's something that you um I'm feeling have been maybe perhaps doing for a while or it's something that you see yourself doing for a while. Something like that. It's something that you that, that you despite it being this just being air energy, I'm actually feeling like a like a like a long-term vibe, okay? It's like the, the wind's blowing towards something very, very long-term, okay? Um, anyway, um, I feel like what you can do to, to, to reinvigorate yourself, palm number two, beautiful, we have the six of the six of wands, what you can do to bring reinvigoration or, or new life to your, to your situation is, okay, for some of you, I just very clearly heard a read, but um, once again, I want to say manifest, um, and with with manifestation, that can mean anything to you, like vision boards, um, etc., etc. But but with this manifestation, I, this is the first time I noticed that this person actually has um, wings. Interesting, because I just wanted to say with this manifestation, I feel m mainly more. Um, it's like a mind thing for you, okay? Yeah, exactly. With the with the, this being just air energy as well, um, it's like what you think manifests. So it's it's. I'm not feeling like this as a warning as be careful what you think. It's more of like your mind is extremely fucking powerful, so use that, you know? Um like you want to you want to bring new life into into your situation. Like imagine new life coming into your situation. Even if it starts off with you just I imagining um like for instance light filling your your life or your environment or your body or whatever it is you know even if it just starts off that way in order to clear away the energy muck do that because you have a very powerful mind um beautiful with the with the jack of hearts as well um this is new life like the the new life is going to come as as you think it uh for yourself as you I'm also getting with this with this three of air. Um, it's like experience. This is like it's it's. I'm 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 once again. I'm once again getting this vibe of like the. It, I just heard nothing's new for you. Okay. Um, it's it's almost like like it's once again this energy of like been there done that seen that kind of vibe. Um, you've had this experience before or something like that, and um, or or, or you have had experiences similar to to this to this um perhaps like needing to reinvigorate yourself before so you know how to do it and yeah you, you're kind of getting to this vibe of like like really i want to say mastering almost the, the energy of um once again manifesting this this air energy into into physicality with the king of pentacles right um so yeah, like 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 really good cards here. Um, manifest with your mind, pile number two. Truly, truly. Um, we have the interesting. We have I I pulled the 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 ten of wands. Um, uh, like but 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 like at the bottom of the deck is the ten of hearts. Now the ten of wands is usually look like, like about like like oh being overburdened and stuff like that, right? And what's flipping beautiful? We have the ten of we have the ten of hearts again with the three of uh, hearts. But what I wanted to say, this this ten of wands is almost like you you laying down a burden. Okay, part number two. I feel like you're actually about to enter some sort of stage within your life where you are gonna experience. Um, it's almost going to be like a, 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 yeah, it's going to be like a lack of defensiveness. It's going to be a lack of, of, I'm, 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 I wanted to say like a lack of worries. And I'm even hearing a hakuna matata. What a wonderful first. Um, it's, it's almost like you're, you're, you're going to be learning how to, how to, um, with the, the lack of worries, I'm also hearing hacking the system. So it's exactly, you're, it's almost like you're going to be learning how to hack the system in some sort of way. Um, your own mind by, is what I mean by the system in this case, okay? That's going to allow you to... Um, I'm, I'm hearing live in, a, live in a state of constant in, invigoration or, or constant life or constant... Um, 
like constant enjoyment or constant like ease or something like that okay the child as i say that beautiful that's really cool um you're gonna be you're gonna be pile number two um the the more you imagine yourself um the the more you imagine and believe in this this magic the more you um like like truly ex the more you the more you experience yourself grounding the magic into your reality, the more you're grounding the magic into your reality. The more you're imagining this, the more you're thinking this, the more you are um, truly, truly calling it into from your from your own thoughts, from your own inner world into your physicality, the more it is happening. Um, how can you reinvigorate your your life pile number two um connect with your connect with your your the the magical side of your being the inner child being um imagine yourself playing with creation with magic with god okay this is truly just a, a mind thing for you um if if you enjoy reading i i recommend maybe reading something that you that really um like light you up like like especially um I don't want to say your mind, but your imagination. Something that lights up your, your like. So if if you enjoy like reading action books, for instance, because it like makes you like, you know, do that. Or I prefer fantasy, for instance, because that makes me connect with my inner child. You understand what I'm saying? But I feel like you connecting with that energy will assist you in 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 actually manifesting that energy into your physicality as well. Okay, pile number two. Uh, so yeah. Yeah, thank you so much for uh, connecting. Please do consider liking and subscribing. And I will see you again for another reading. Shut numb. Bye. Oh, uh, but, but before before I go, actually, I do want to mention, because once again, that, that message of do what you love came up. That that came up just before. Um, once again, this do what you love is it's, it's the, the, the thing that your inner child truly enjoys, okay? The thing that makes you feel actually the the thing that actually makes you feel invigorated um so so um there you do have the choice and you already know what it is you just aren't really accepting it um which also calls me back to the beginning of the of of your pile not pile number two so go check that out okay B bye <laughs> Satnam, pile number three for those of you who picked this beautiful bronze copper um statuette thing of of the it's the it's the python the it's the serpent the panther and the the condor from like peruvian cosmology it's really beautiful um okay um interesting pile number three i already feel how can you reinvigorate your life how can you bring reinvigoration healing new life to your experience and reality i actually feel like um, i'm getting the very clear message of you need to reconnect uh maybe not reconnect but connect with some sort of of of, of spirituality connect with some sort of religion some sort of um you know something beyond yourself and i'm not talking about tara i'm talking about something um more more substantial maybe more um grounded more more guided um the death rebirth card is showing itself that's a pretty intense card um and that's exactly what it's giving me i am getting for some of you um you are being actually asked you to to reinstate uh, to to re um re re reintroduce yourself maybe to like your childhood religion or um perhaps even to 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 things that you were um to to religions you've dabbled in before or spiritual paths that you've dabbled in before um whatever it is however it is that you experience god rather i feel like but like this doesn't feel like god like this doesn't feel like spirit even though everything is spirit like i feel like a more a more like structured like religious or spiritual practice okay okay that's the that's the correct word part number three um what's what 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 will bring in some proper like um reinvigoration new life new experience for you part number three is um connecting with some sort of new spiritual practice okay beautiful we have the ten of fire in this deck the ten of fire speaks about like ascension and power ups and like like power as you can see like look at that the the um chakras being activated and stuff like that and union beautiful
Absolutely. So um, this union card is actually giving me yoga because that is kind of what yoga is about, right? Yoga is about, it means union with God or something like that, right? Um, Pile number three, I think what will bring a lot of invigoration for you, what will bring a lot of healing for you um, is, is, is you connecting with 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 a spiritual practice this this is giving me yoga this is giving me just meditation in general i'm getting tai chi um what more what more what more but but i feel like i feel like this practice it's also something that is going to be presented to you as well or it, it's something that i'm getting for some of you might have been um like i said interested in in the past i'm even getting krav maga but that's like a fighting style why not? Um, <laughs> why not? Like, as I say that the wounded warrior, you know, like maybe, why not, right? Um, I, I, I do feel like this practice needs to be something that is um, like spiritual, but it's also something that is very grounded, like I said, very structured, that requires some sort of a structure or some sort of a discipline from you, pal number three, okay? Um, exactly, with the six of wands, that's also like a warrior kind of vibe, but this, this warrior is victorious, right? Um, exactly, this is some, uh, also the army vibe, this is something... Um, that that you, you need some sort of a, a, a structure this practice is something that needs to bring you some sort of a disciplinary um, Expression from within yourself if that makes sense it makes hundred percent sense. I think The nine of swords we have this is interesting with the with the ace of okay uh, With with the ace of hearts as well with the ace of hearts just in this case to me is speaking with the union of, of you be, you coming into union with yourself, you know the reinvigoration the new flowing waters coming coming into your life, right? Um, you, you need to you need to you need to do the practice. I actually feel like me um, Just mentioning the spiritual practice that you need to do you, you're already like most of you already know you might just a little yeah with it with the ten of pentacles i feel like you actually you're actually bringing in this discipline into your life is going to lead you to a lot of success uh with the six of with the six of wands and the ten of pentacles a lot of success and a lot of money um i feel like once you once you start like really um developing but also embodying this this disciplinary act this disciplinary practice um it, it's it's gonna bring like I'm, I'm hearing like a rush of energy that's gonna start materializing itself um for you okay i'm even getting for some of you i'm even getting for some of you like with this ten of with this ten of fire which is all about ascension like um it's almost like the energy like presenting itself if not as if no, not not if not but not only as money but even as in a, in like spiritual powers like um like things strange things happening around you because your energy is so like dense and not dense and heavy but because your energy is so strong that's what i'm trying to say um because your aura is like heavy, you know, like it actually influences like the, the physicality kind of vibe, okay? So I, I do, I, I highly recommend like maybe some sort of uh, like meditation. It could even be mantra, like singing like a daily mantra or something like that, okay? Um, it really doesn't matter. It just has to require some sort of level of discipline, some sort of level of commitment as well, okay? Okay, three cards, why not? <laughs> why not? <laughs> we have the Queen of Fire, the... Interesting, we have the Queen of Fire, the Seven of Water, and the King of Air. This is giving me that energy of, 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 um... The, the the practice I feel like is actually intended to to ultimately guide you in 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 like I said bring union within your own self and like with God with your own like abilities your own powers your own kind of like um whatever right but like like it's more than that it's 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 intended to bring you like a sense of of being able to choose a sense of being able to do whatever it is that you want a sense to be um to do whatever it is that you need or you feel like you you, you want to do right um, because the seven of water is all about options and like her face is so serene her face is so like calm within the movements of the waters right um a spiritual practice part number three like I, I don't know what else more to say like i i recommend that you get some sort of a 
spiritual physical practice actually and like with the, with the body mind that's spiritual and physical so it has to be something that is that requires some sort of discipline that requires you to focus on your breath that requires you also to move your body so um with with uh, so I, I would recommend yoga i would recommend tai chi i would recommend um Something like that, Qigong, okay, I, I, pile number three, I actually feel like that is something that would be really beneficial for you, okay. Spiritual practice, but more specifically, I would recommend once again, the, the, the things I just mentioned to you, okay. It has to be some sort of a movement that, uh, uh, that, that involves some sort of a, a, like all, all, all movement involves breath work, you, you know, but like you understand what I'm saying, like it, it involves you focusing on, on both the body and the mind. That's the practice that will bring a lot of healing and invigoration. And like I said as well, a lot of like, um, connection with your magical abilities, with your spiritual powers. Okay. Um, thank you so much, puzzle number three. I think that is all. Uh, please do consider liking and subscribing and I'll see you again for another reading. Satnam. Bye. Satnam, pile number four, for those of you who picked this beautiful lamp, this is going to be a reading for how you can bring new life, reinvigorating energies into your experience. Um, I'm already getting this vibe, you need to, you need to, I, I just heard like flower yourself. Um, you need to, you need to water yourself, is actually what I want to say, you need to make sure that your own cup is is full first okay um, maybe you've actually been feeling not invigorated because maybe you've been giving too much okay towards um like maybe you've just been spreading yourself too thin okay um so so i'm actually feeling like what you need to hear is you need to bring in some sort of a balance in regards to that and start giving to yourself and start making sure that you have sufficient um sufficiently enough for yourself and for the future before you start giving um too much uh, a, a, a way of yourself okay <laughs> yourself 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 kept saying that <laughs> I'll number four interesting that i would just flip that all over like very confidently but that's the nine of pentacles which is very confident okay um it's interesting yeah because this is okay with the seven of with the, no with the four of air and the nine of pentacles this is giving me exactly that vibe like you i feel like you how can you reinvigorate yourself how can you heal yourself bring new life into your your life <laughs> um I feel like you need to remove yourself a little bit, number four. You need to remove yourself a little bit from family and friends. Um, I feel like you need to... I'm hearing recluse. I feel like you actually need to... Um, maybe I'm hearing for some of you, you have even... You have even actually remo removed yourself. Um, but you, f you still feel like you haven't been reinvigorated. But I feel like that's, the, that's only because... Um, like every every like maybe you've maybe maybe you've like s like set up more space between you and people but every time the people still come into your reality it's still very much energetically taxing on you so it doesn't really even out for you at the end um anyway um so i feel like that's what you need to look out like you like it doesn't it like you, you can't just remove yourself and expect the, the the person or the energy to to not be the same that it was you understand what i'm saying like remove yourself but also when when you are in some sort of a a a a, a confrontation or like connection with that energy like like you must be removed while by by, by even being there that's the kind of energy i'm getting here okay um, you need to be like far removed even though you're in the midst of it or something like that okay so that's maybe why you're having energy that's maybe what you need to learn in order to reinvigorate yourself like uh, not, like now i'm getting this vibe of being able yeah um being able to being able to um find the calmness within the storm with the six of swords you know um being like i said being able to reinvigorate yourself while while <laughs> like um, I always want to say under attack. Why am I getting that kind of energy? Interesting with it with the ten of with the ten of clubs, the ten of wands as well. Um, part number four. Okay, I'm 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 getting this message to tell you that like <sighs> you will you will never necessarily be like in 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 like in like in like um situations that won't try to take from you okay um but like i just heard somebody screaming there's like this what's this guy on youtube and that does also like these timmy in uh, like 
just hold on for me. I, I, it doesn't matter, but like I just heard somebody. I just heard somebody. Um, I saw somebody in my mind's eye. I like. Um, I have invigoration. So I'm getting this vibe, Polymer 4, that like the the more you're actually gonna maybe. Um, I don't want to say remove yourself from people, but remove yourself from certain situations and certain people. Um, you're actually gonna start noticing that 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 that. It's not necessarily that you that you need a new life. It's just that perhaps there were like people that were draining the 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 the, the life from you. Okay, but like I I feel like you're gonna be noticing that you are actually like the source of a lot of life, and but that's why people tr keep trying to take from you. Okay. Um, Part number four, this is a terrible thing for me to say, but like I'm getting almost like this message because like like I keep like I like I said, um it's it's like you've never been in a situation that people won't try and take from you, which is a terrible thing. Like like I'm not condoning that kind of behavior at all, okay? Um and I'm not saying like you're you're doomed for that, but it's it's almost like this energy of like you don't really mind because like it's still your choice whether you give or not. Um, like, like, that doesn't matter, like, you're, you're still gonna be the, the, the source of the life, or the source of the reinvigoration, right? Like I said, like, you're, you're the, you're the, you're the source where the, where the, where the, like, um, the life-giving oil comes from, like, uh, not, not, a, not like in a, in a, in a big-headed way, but you know exactly what I'm saying, like, people look to you for answers, or people look to you for, um, like, energetic support, you know? And everything is energy. Everything is energy, okay? But 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 what can you do to, 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 to feel to to you just need to keep a lot of not a lot, but you just need to keep enough of that um beautiful, beautiful, beautiful energy for yourself and stop giving towards um others is what I'm hearing, Paul number four. That's that's basically it, okay? Um, you just need to have, like, I, I keep hearing boundaries as well, you just need to keep, you just need to have, like, a proper boundary, you just need to have a proper, um, a, a proper sense of, of give and take, <laughs> like, energetically. W once again, also, mm, I'm, I'm, I'm seeing the Devil card, the Queen of Earth, King of Air, and the Abundance, um, like I just wanted to start speaking about this nine of this nine of um air, um, that and then I saw the the devil card, the desire card with the king of water, um, once again number four, it's almost like like with this king of water, it's almost like you don't care about the fact that, um, like people try to steal from you or not 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 steal from you, but that people try to take from you because you understand that you are like this life giving thing. You're like the oil, or the in this case the water, like the king of water. You are the ocean. You are the the water like flowing, right? Um, but still, there's some sort of there's some sort of um, like there, there's some sort of sense of like. If, if 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 you if you, when you give too much of your essence or you give too much of your energy um sometimes it gets blocked blocked off and it becomes stagnant in certain areas and stuff like that and it takes a while for it to return to you you understand what i'm trying to say um and you don't have to deal with that so so just be just be um gracious just be just be um just be aware of, of, of where, where, who it is you give your energy to, where it is that you send your energy to, because even though you, you, you have so much, even though you are so infinitely powerful, etc, 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 it's still, it's still, not everything deserves it, you know, um, so I don't feel necessarily that you feel that you need reinvigoration, or you feel that you need, um, healing or anything, because you, you feel like a very, like, you feel like the ocean to me, you know, like, um, So it's not necessarily that you feel that you need it. It's just like it's more like uh, that that you're tired or anything. It's it's more of like if you are feeling any kind of density, it's because you're just mingling your energy with energies that you shouldn't be mingling it with that don't deserve your energy. That's what I'm trying to say here. Okay, Paul number four. Um, let, let me let me get one more. Let me get one more of these cards.
and I feel like I feel like that's also why you're gonna be why you 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 should be removing yourself a little bit more because I feel like the the more you are in your own energy, like the more the more you are in clear water, the more you can see, right? Um, the more we have body mind and we have emotion intellect with destiny. This is the second time I saw destiny in your reading column before. Um, body mind. This is giving me this this message of actually like you you needing to you needing to be in a in a in a in a in a like it's so easy to say like I feel like it's such a cop out to say balance but like but like it's actually good because whatever balance means to you right like only you know what balance is for you but like it's 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 that it's that even though once again even though you are the you are the 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 spiritual source of this this water of this oil of this people coming to you for advice or people coming to you for whatever you, you that what that's what i was talking about right um you still have the physical side of things you still have the the um the logistic side of things that you need to think about that you need to um I don't want to say I don't want to uh, master basically, but 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 that you need to experience. You're still experiencing the physicality of that as well. You understand what I'm saying? So so that is the only reason why you need to you need to um, be aware of where it is that you're letting your energy flow. Okay, um, and that's what will bring you reinvigoration. Pound number four. You simply just um, be being more aware of where you, wh where what you spend your energy on. Basically, where you let it go will bring you invigoration. Because once you be once you are more aware of that, you will actually experience um, yourself maybe drawing back a little bit more, or um, whatever something like that. Right, um, and that. Yeah, that will just make your energy more you. <laughs> so, thank you so much. Uh, please do consider liking and subscribing. Pound number four. I will see you again for another reading. Such nam. Bye.